Today I'm just going to be taking a look at this product here which is the Syncwire Car Charger Cigarette Lighter Splitter which is uh, not something I'd normally look to review uh, but it is tech and I am interested in tech so I thought I'd give it a go. Let's take a look. Here we have the Syncwire Car Charger Cigarette Lighter Splitter. Simple, superior, reliable. Let's have a look on the box, see what other information we've got. Syncwire is a trademark of Liedermint and its affiliated companies, all rights reserved. And on the back we've got some specifications. So a cigarette lighter splitter provides a power output of up to 150 watts. Wow. Support charging for various high power electronic devices designed with independent on-off switches for two sockets, 18 watt power delivery and USB quick charge 3.0. Oh, ports enable faster charging speed. Multi-protect safety system with built-in replaceable 15 amp fuse. LED voltage display monitors the car battery automatically. All-in-one design with flexible rotation makes your car neater. And then we've got some specifications over here. Not my field of expertise. I tend to understand things in watts or milliamp hour. I'm sure those of you who do understand that will make sense of all of that. So, let's get the box open. So we've got a user manual there. Just quickly flick through that so that you can see. So it just looks like we've got one, one page in English there and then some other languages. And on the back we've got warranty policy. So it comes with a three year warranty. Fantastic, that's about it. Then inside the box, we've got some goodies here. Got some sort of rubber thing. I, I think that's so that you can um, cover the uh, the cigarette lighter socket, or rather the plug. We've got some of the fuses. So it looks like they are the ones that replace what's already in there, maybe. Uh, we've got two of those. And we've got the device itself, so just discard the rest of the box. It comes in a wrap, and ah, here we go. So it looks interesting. Got the plug on one end, which goes into our vehicle, I assume. It looks like that, yeah, that flexes, so you can, you can change the angle that this is at. Then on one side we've got, so we've got the, the splitter there, so we can plug another two of these in. Or not, not these in, but two devices in, or whatever it is. I don't know, maybe people do actually use the cigarette lighter as a cigarette lighter these days. On here we've got some sort of uh, switch, so it looks like a left arrow and a right arrow there. We've got the Syncwire logo, it's got a nice finish on there. Uh, on the bottom we've got something to peel off, which I'll do now. There we go, a little bit of information there, similar to what's on the box. All the technical information I didn't understand. On this side we've got the fuse, so it looks like you can pull that out if the fuse goes and replace it with one of the two spares that come in the box. And then on this side, this is where the bit I'm interested in is. I'll just peel that off. I'll just turn it around so the text isn't the wrong way up. So we've got quick charge 3.0 and then two USB-C power delivery. So what I'm going to do now is fire up the Quattro and take a look at what it can do. Those of you who know your motors will realise that this is a Dacia Sandero or Dacia Sandero. And yep, I, Mr. Tomo's tech, I literally don't have a stereo in my car. But uh, never mind. What I do have is a Bluetooth speaker, you see. Um, this is a very cheaper model and... I figured I don't really want to be uh, updating the stereo all the time as new technology comes out, so I just use my phone and a Bluetooth speaker. So the setup I currently have is I just use this. So it's a just an anchor um, charger with I think fast charge on it. Uh, she's got two USB ports on their sockets rather. Uh, but what we're going to do is swap that out, and we're going to plug in. The sync wire, apologies for how messy my car is, so we'll just plug that in. What it does, it just monitors the battery of the car, which is pretty pretty cool actually. Um, 
So you know that you're not, um, well, you know that your battery's still got life in it <laughs> pretty much once you start plugging things in. So I've brought with me a few devices in the car. So I've got a Nintendo Switch Lite. I've got an iPad. Don't know what generation the iPad is, lost track, but it's about a year old. <laughs> the reason I brought the iPad in is because the cable that it uses to charge is a USB-C to lightning, which is a bit awkward because you have to use the charger that comes with the iPad usually, unless you've got a USB um, to lightning, USB-A to lightning, USB-B to lightning, can't remember. So what I'm going to do is get the... Uh, the iPad on charge first, so I've just put one end in there, and then we're just going to go plug that in here into the power delivery. It's a bit difficult with one hand, to be honest. So there we go. Now down to 12.0, and my iPad is now charging, which I can confirm. I really do need to clean my car. Apologies. So I'm just going to one-handedly, very difficult. I'm going to plug USB-C into that and then go into there and let's see what happens. So my switch light is now charging and this has now gone down to 11.9 but it's gone back up to 12, hovering around 12. So that's okay. Next. I'm actually going to get my anchor charger and plug it in to one of the spare bits off the splitter. So now, what a mess, plug that in there and I'm now going to plug the phone that I am currently using <laughs> to film this into the charger. I'll just check on the camera itself. No, nothing. So that doesn't seem to have worked. So we'll try plugging it into the, the one underneath. See if that works. It's now gone down to 11.8. Back up to 11.9. And I'm now getting charged. So I'm just wondering if I didn't plug that in correctly. So I will just, for the benefit of doubt, I'll just plug that back in and just as I was filming this um, I'm just gonna gonna give a correction here so when I thought that the top port on here the top socket wasn't charging uh, it's because you need to use the arrows so when I was unboxing it you saw these two arrows here so like I was saying at the beginning of the video not normally a product I'd normally take a look at and quite clearly in my review I did encounter some issues but well, hopefully the issues that I did encounter will help you to uh, use this product effectively. So what I did find uh, after I had jumped straight in to try and use the product without properly reading the instructions was that the, the buttons on the side were actually on-off switches. Once I had established that, both of the splitter cigarette lighter charging sockets did actually work. I like the way this product delivers a massive amount of power and I also like the way you can monitor your car battery to make sure that you're not damaging it. I think it's a, it's a really important feature because if you ran your battery down and you were out on holiday camping or something like that, you'd know power, you'd probably need to get a jump start, somehow get your battery recharged a little bit, enough to get going. I definitely recommend this product and I'll put links in the description below so that you can make a purchase should you so wish. If you did enjoy my review then please do hit like and subscribe below and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified every time I upload which is at the moment completely random. Anyway I'll see you in the next video, thank you.